Hello everybody, this is Eric Salas with Canine World and Eric Salas Workshops. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a source that's not used in learning about dog show events. And one of the most untapped resources there is the dog show photographer. Um, especially the one that's doing candidates, uh, the ones who really know the breed. There's, you know, just like anything else, there's a lot of people at shows who think they're a photographer. There's a lot of people at shows that think they show dogs or can train dogs. But there are some of the most incredible people and most talented people at these dog shows that are taking these candid photos. Um, I've seen some really great situations where uh, I'll give you an example. I was at a dog show. I won't name the name of the dog show, but it was in New York. And um, there was the person that's in charge of press was catering to the network photographers. Um, these are the ones that associated press, API, um, the, all the networks and stuff like that. These guys didn't know squat about dogs. And one guy had a cracked lens most of them were talking about how they hated being there. Um, they don't know anything about dogs. They were trying to get information from some of the actual real dog show photographers that were placed behind them. Um, and they were saying, what breed is this? And getting all this info so they can, you know, put that on, on all the information for their photos. And seek out these, these people that really know dogs with the camera. And that's getting tough because a lot of these kennel clubs are trying to restrict people from taking photos at these shows, which is actually illegal. Um, you cannot do that. If it's open to the public, it's open to the public. Um, but beyond that, I want to tell you that there are some places that I know that you can go for sure. One of those places is in the UK, but they travel all over the world except for the United States, unfortunately, and that's Our Dogs. Our Dogs is led by uh, Vince Hogan, and they know dogs. They know people. They know all about the dog shows, ins and outs. And you can see live streams, and you can go on their Facebook pages, websites, um, follow Our Dogs, and it's the best place to learn because you it's like a dog university. And if you're trying to watch stuff that they post on TV, where it's, you know, these big shows and it's filmed by people that don't know anything about dogs. That's not the place to learn. That's where you can see stuff, but that's not where you're going to get the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty is from people like our dogs. So make sure that you tune into them, like them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram, um, YouTube, anything like that. Anything to do with our dogs, get in touch with them and start following all the streams and things like that that they do. The other thing is a really, really good dog show photographer, and I actually have a video on YouTube, and that's training dogs for winter's photos, and one of them is from the perspective of an actual dog show photographer, and this guy is not only a dog show photographer, but has been in the business for many years, and he sees dogs that, you know, where people don't know how to stack these dogs. Take your dog, if you're brand new, or you have a new dog, go up to the dog show photographer and say, hey, I want to pay you to teach me how to do we're traveling right now um, teach me how to get good dog show winners photos because if you can get good dog show winners photos then you can present your dogs properly in the ring when you're being judged so I don't have a lot of time on this right here these are some things that we're going to be talking about with our new series and new training workshops called live online with Eric Solis where you can from the comfort of your own home anywhere in the world you can train with me and we're going to have fun with this stuff it's all set up modular so you can pick up things like how to find the right breeder um, how to look for the right mentor uh, teaching dogs to stack pe teaching dogs to you know getting connected with your dogs all kinds of fun stuff like that if you want to pre-register for this go to www.k9 the letter k the number nine dash world.com and you'll see a section there where it says live online and there's a form you can fill out for pre-registration go ahead and do that as soon as we get these modules up and running which will be really really soon um 
you will be notified first because they will fill up fast. Okay, guys, so our dogs, that's what you want to look for. Look for the video, How to Train Dogs for Winners Photos with Eric Solis uh, on YouTube. Uh, follow me, follow our dogs on Facebook, and start tapping into that research of great dog show photographers to learn a little bit more because you got to think about if they want to look good they got to find the people who make dogs look good and they say okay that's what you want to watch this is what you want to see it, it is so tough for new people to come to shows it's like well what am i looking at what am i looking for how do i need to learn and there are so many people who really do not know what they're doing who are giving advice out there i, I have seen a situation at a show not too long ago where this person was telling people what leash to use and they were stringing their dog up. Their dog looked phenomenal structurally, but the eyes looked like a, like doll eyes. There was no life, no, there was nothing in there. And this person went last in her class every single day. And that's the person that was giving advice right there. It just, that's not what you're looking for at these dog shows. All right, guys, let's get together. Let's have fun. Uh, Eric Salas workshops k9-world.com our dogs look for our dogs and the best treats that i have ever found is northwest naturals i'll have all those links in the description below thanks again cut